Joining us now is Morgan Stanley Senior VP of Investments, Jim LeCamp. Are you getting pushback for this view from your clients? Um, not really. Here's the thing. Uh, if you look at all the reasons to be skeptical of this market, senior loan officer surveys are showing tightening credit, yield curve is still inver inverted, the Fed is still hiking, uh, the economic slowdown is very visible here, not only here, but in China now and in the Eurozone, there's a lot of, re all the regional Fed surveys are weak. And so there's reasons to believe that this market is, is really running on, on thin air right now. But the thing is, what if investors are already positioned that way? What if you have already shaken out all of the sellers, then you set the table for a short squeeze and a fear missing out rally? And you have to be careful here. I think you have to be kind of a balanced mindset here because A, we're up against resistance to the 4,300 level on the S&P 500. B, seasonally, we're in that sell in May and go away time frame where we usually get a lot of volatility. And now C, we're two standard deviations away from the 50-day moving average, which is extreme overbought territory. That's usually when the market starts getting wobbly. So I'm not saying people shouldn't have exposure to the market. The market's moving. It's above the 200-day moving average. We have some themes we can, we can play. We have some rotation now into the small caps, energy, and some other names. There are reasons to be a little bit optimistic, but I think investors have to be very, very careful here because all those concerns still exist. You do, you do not buy the fundamental underpinning here that the economy looks better than expected, earnings growth looks better than expected, the Fed is nearing the end of its rate hiking cycle. I mean, th these are some of the reasons, the fundamentals. Sure. There's no earnings growth. There, there's earnings that have beat expectations but there is no earnings growth. So I'm not buying the fundamental story, but I get the reasons. And one of the new dynamics that's coming out is what's happening in China. And that is there is a lot of people that now think with the weakness in China, they're going to have to devalue the yuan to some point. If that's the case, they're going to be exporting deflation around the world. We're already seeing it hit some commodity prices. And if that's the case, then that's a whole new narrative for technology. But we are pushing. That's good, isn't it? It's good. That would be time? good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the thing is, we're pushing now on a, a, a multiple uh, issue, uh, 21 times earnings, that it doesn't give you a lot of headway uh, moving forward. So if you were going to, if you had the risk tolerance to chase a FOMO rally, knowing what it was, right. would you be in tech only or could you diversify that into any kind of other growth name, for example? You're seeing some rotation now, um, and, and energy is, is probably the poster child there. Energy prices have been suppressed, but the, but the rig count is way, way down. It's very suppressed, and we've drained a lot of our strategic petroleum reserves. You can't argue that we're going to have an economic rebound and then argue that fossil fuels aren't going to take advantage of that. So there is some rotation. Small caps have seen a bid as well for the first time in a long, long time. So I think there are some areas you can play outside of technology, but I still think you can play technology. The semiconductor index, great leading indicator. It's been pretty strong. So I, I still think you just have to have a balanced mindset here, knowing that in this time frame, this part of this time frame of year, you're going to have some volatility, particularly as we, we approach August, September, early October. All right, Jim, it's, it's good to see you. Great to see you guys. Th thanks for the advice. Jim LeCamp from Morgan Stanley.